Hello and welcome back to the Antarium. In today's video, I'm updating you on the dueling princesses pairing group. As you may recall in a previous video, these queens started with no eggs between each other, which as you can see has now completely changed. They had their first set of eggs. They have both taken really well into the small single chamber form of carrion we made for them. And this is great for all of us because with the low glare glass, we get much better view with the lighting from above. And as you can see, based on the dates, it took them exactly one week after pairing for eggs to show up. And fast forward a few weeks, because these ants take forever to develop, we have our first larva. Here, the Alpha Queen is tending to them and also processing prey to feed to them later. Here, the paralyzed prey items are a cricket and a dubia roach. In case it hasn't been iterated before, these ants have a paralyzing sting and it's an important part of their hunting strategy. And now we'll take a look at the other queen and see what she's up to. As expected, the beta queen is doing foraging behaviors and other more risky behaviors compared to the dominant queen. What you just saw was her actually taking some trash out and leaving it in a honey tray. Even when they're together in the same room, you can see a stark difference in their behavior. The beta queen is constantly moving around, foraging, moving trash, looking for things to do, whereas the alpha queen is sitting there processing prey or being very close to the larva and the brood. Unlike most ants, you're probably accustomed to keeping or seeing these more primitive ants do not have the ability to regurgitate food. They have to put the food directly on the larva. In some cases, it's better to have it snipped into smaller bits. On the other hand, of course, these queens have to consume fats and proteins to produce the eggs they need to lay in the future, so they should be feeding off of the prey they bring in. Here we actually observe the Alpha Queen feeding the larva. She's gathered them in a pile and dropped the food in the midst of them. In this case, it's the cricket you saw her munching on a little bit earlier. These larvae will chew through any prey put in front of them. They're very capable of just hollowing these things out in a very short period of time. Here you can see both queens taking a break, grooming themselves. Unlike the first week where they were put together, I don't really see any more dominance aggression behaviors between them. At least I just haven't seen them myself. Unlike before where they were just bullying each other uh, any chance they got. But it just seems that they cooperate and they don't have any issues with each other. And here the queens have moved the paralyzed doobie roach over to the larva. Earlier the cricket was being torn up. That dubia roach is very much alive. They just snip the antenna and the legs off. This is a way to preserve prey for the larva, preventing it from rotting too soon. In a few more weeks, I expect to have our cocoons and our first workers, and I'll make another video updating you on how well they're doing. As far as I can tell, they're doing fantastic, and I hope this continues to be a great ant colony for us to observe and enjoy in the future. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.